Welcome to Simple Plays Cataclysm. Now, um, this series is a series I've been wanting to do for quite some time, and it's just basically going to be um, every so often, not every week. It might be like I don't know, once a month or three times a month or whenever I just feel like it. Um, it's just going to be a series I can do any game that I find interesting that I don't want to do like a let's play on or something, or I'm not sure if I want to do a let's play. Um, so that's what this is. Simple is just just a random game thing, uh, just so uh, everything's not all over the place, and I can put random things into one playlist so it's easy to look at. Um, put a down playing Cataclysm, which is a zombie apocalypse roguelike. Now I know there's quite a lot of people that don't like roguelikes game roguelike games because of the way they look. Um, I actually didn't used to. I used to think they were boring, but once I got into playing them, it's I find it a lot better than most um, zombie games and stuff like that. Uh, games where it's all stat heavy because with them type of games, I like focusing on stats and they're kind of not as good if there's a, a, a good graphical thing with it because they seem to focus on the graphics and um, animations and stuff instead of just the stats. With these type of roguelikes, they mainly focus on like uh, stats and... I don't know, just different items and stuff. Um, another reason I like it is because you can use your imagination a lot because they've dropped all the graphical effects. I mean, there is some sort of graphics. I think it's called ASCII or something, something like that, where it's just basically symbols, um, but it doesn't actually give you what things look like. So you can use all, you can do all that in your head, which I find a lot more entertaining and stuff. So because I've got, I've got a pretty active imagination, and when it comes to these type of things, I like to. Imagine it all up and stuff. But yeah, this, um, as it says here, this is alpha release. Um, and it's highly unstable. So if if you play, if you download it, um, sometimes it will say not responding and it will just freeze. Just, just leave it. Eventually it will come back. It's just because it's in alpha release and as it says here, it's unstable. Um, so if it does do that, just leave it. Don't click on it or don't start spamming buttons or anything. Just just let it do its thing and it'll come back. Um, now the reason I'm doing this is because I'm supposed to be doing Vice City, but um, I had some trouble with it. I somehow corrupt the game and I had to reinstall it, which obviously deleted the save for it as well. So um, I've got it reinstalled. I'm just working my way back up to where I was. Um, hopefully I can get one out by the weekend next weekend um, and I tried to make it a bit longer because it hasn't been out for two weeks but that's be just because I somehow broke the game um, but that'll be back in the meantime I'll just do this so we'll start a new game um, and we'll do a custom character so as you can see there's um, a few stats here there's strength, dexterity, intelligence and perception um, strength is obviously strength <laughs> You know, um, it also can, as you can see here, you, there is diseases and poisons, um, and it makes you more resistant to that, obviously. Dexterity is, um, enhances many actions which require, I haven't got a clue what that word says, I don't know why, but I just can't, finesse, oh that's the one, finesse, yeah, derp. Um, so it enhances many actions which require finesse, okay. Then there's intelligence, obviously, um, which is when crafting, um, installing bionics, which you can do, and interacting with NPCs, and perception, which is for detecting tracks, um, not tracks, traps, and other things of interest. I can't speak today, so I'm going to make a lot of errors. Um, now, when you start this, you only get six points, and then points go across, so you have to use the six points in the traits and the skills as well, so if you use them all here, you're not going to be able to use them in there but what you can do is if you go to traits get all these traits the green ones are the good ones obviously like you can get um thick skinned which um it says cutting damage is slight really slightly reduced for you so these are the good things now some of these do cost a lot like c cost like three points uh, but if you go over to this side which is the red side these are negative traits um and as you see here, um, ugly costs minus one point. So if you get that, if you um, if you allow yourself to have an ugly trait, then you'll get an extra point. So I'll have seven points. 
Um, I always seem to go for ugly trait because I don't really, um, I haven't really got that far where you really need to um, um, talk to NPCs because I always die because I'm, I'm still kind of new at this game so I do pretty much everything wrong. Um, also I should say I'm not going to show you everything because there is a lot in this game. I'm just going to make like a quick little showing of what it does and stuff. Um, I'll miss most of the things out but just to give you an idea and I'll leave the link in the description so you can go and check it out because there is quite a lot of stuff in this and it gets really exciting when you get further on in it but I don't really seem to get that far I also want to have Truth Teller because I don't as, a, as, as I've said I don't really interact with NPCs that much at the moment and there's other things that you can do it depends on what you what you like um, you can have addictive personality which is a it's easier for you to become addicted to substances and harder to rid yourself of these addictions. You got things like that, um, insomniac, illiterate. Now, um, from what I've, all the all the videos that I've seen on this game, there's not really a lot out there. But all the ones I said, most people say do not, do not pick the illiterate, um, like bad bad trait because. Um, if you find a library, you can go in there and read the books, and you can uh, you can upgrade skills, and you can learn new things. Um, and also, if you find a science lab, and you happen to find an ID card for the science lab, you won't be able to read the computer to put the ID card on, because you're illiterate, and books and computers are off limits to you, as it says here. So don't pick that. Um, that's bad. Uh, if you don't really want to read or anything, and you just want to go around finding weapons and killing zombies by all means get it because that'll give you five extra points to put on here so uh, yeah um, but I'm going to see if I can get another one um, forgetful lightweight uh, what's this so I'm going to get that uh, alcohol and drugs go straight to your head because I don't use the alcohol and drugs so I'm going to do that now I've got ten points so now I'm going to go over to here um, my strength up to 11, put my intelligence up to 11, put that up to 10, and I put that up to, that up to 9. Uh, and then if you go to this one, these are the skills. Um, and you can pick which one you want, and you can level them up different levels. Obviously the first level costs 1 point, and the next one will cost like 3 or something. I'm actually going to go with firearms. Um... Just because I like guns, um, as you can see, to level up to to the next level, it will uh, cost another three points. But I don't have any points, so we'll go to the description, call him something. I'm going to call him Joe Derp. Um, it's going to be a male. You can have females, and I'm also going to actually that's it. So press that and press yes. So there we go. Now this is the game screen. Um, here are all your stats. Here's what's going on. There's like a you, tells you where you are in the evac shelter at the moment. What's on your weapon or your what you're wielding at the moment? It's just my fists. Tells you the weather. Here's your stats again, um, and just some other things like daytime and what's happening in the XP. The XP is just from playing. You don't actually get much from anything else. Um, this is like a oval map of the surrounding area and this is what this is like the game screen this whole area is just a game screen right here this little at symbol the white one that is me um, you can move around the arrow keys or the numpad and this pink one is an NPC and it says here nearby um, it's got the symbol for the NPC and it says Nathan Barnes so that's Nathan Barnes there I'm not going to interact with him because I've obviously picked the traits that most NPCs won't like me um, the blue dots are the floor um, these like arrow things whatever they're called are stairs um, obviously the white lines are the walls and these plus signs are doors um, at the moment they're closed but when they're open they're like minus signs so if we go onto the world map by pressing M this is the world map um, so far these grey uh, grey hashtag things um, are just basically areas that you haven't explored yet and you can't see doesn't look like we've actually got a good area to start with um, I was hoping to have a village or something or a town nearby but whatever so um, 
this little blue thing is the thing I'm moving around to see what's what and it, it'll tell you here but most of the things are already in there the yellow dots are obviously the fields as it says these green F's are forests um, now these things are beehives um, when you first start out and you've got no weapons and you just fist don't go anywhere near these because I, I haven't actually managed to kill any of them with my fists or with a melee weapon um, and they can kill you there's just like a, a ton of bees in there, giant bees. Um, the grey lines are roads. Now this is a laboratory, a science lab which I was on about, uh, where you need a, a science ID card and you need the access to the computer. And if you choose illiterate, you can't have access to the computer. Um, and then up here, these this is a crater, so there might be something up here, so probably worth going up there. Um, most craters mean that something's crashed over there, like a plane or something. And then just below me, there is a another evac shelter right there. So that's the world map. Um, and this is the inventory. Got really nothing on us. We got um, oh, these are our clothing guys. We've got jeans, t-shirts, sneakers. These can get ruined. Like eventually, you get a torn t-shirt, and you need to come change it. The volume is how much you can carry at the moment. It's four. Um, if you find like a clothing shop or something, you can you can uh, pick up backpacks and cargo pants and that will allow you to carry more, which is a good thing. Um, this just isn't enough to start with, I don't think. Um, especially if you find some rocks, you can pick up rocks and then eventually that will take, that'll take uh, some room up. But there is like a hunger system and a thirst system in here. So if you find houses, always check for, always check for some food and stuff. But we're going to go downstairs into the basement and uh, see if there's any goods down here. Now it is dark, there's no lights on, so that's why we can't see much. But we can just walk around, see if there's any items. It doesn't look like there is. Nope, sometimes you will spawn with items down there, sometimes you won't. Um, the world is random, it just, every time you load up and start a new person, a new character dude, it will uh, change what it looks like. That's cool. So we go outside and then we shut the door so nothing can go in there. So um, as you can see, there's not, there's pretty much no graphics. Um, there is kind, of, it does kind of indicate what things are like. You can clearly tell this is a road and that's a building there. Um, so it's not too bad. But I want to head straight up and see what's up there. Okay, so here it says East um, Squirrel. That's just basically saying that there's some around me and it's a squirrel and the squirrel is represented by a white R on the map so if I see an, a white R running towards me it's just a squirrel so I have nothing to worry about but this is a rock so I'm going to pick the rock up because you can throw these at um, you can throw these at NPCs okay so we've got an ant lava um, which I didn't think you can get unless there's an ant around but apparently Apparently not. So there's an ant larva around. I don't know what that is. I'm blaming it's just like a giant ant or something. Um, now, as you can see, I'm trying to move here, but this keeps popping up, and it's a safe mode. So if you're not paying attention to this, this will let you know there's something around. Um, and I just turn it off until uh, until it automatically turns back on. Okay, so the strawberries here, which we need for food. We'll pick that. Now the ant is, I'm just going to call him an ant, he is southeast, so I'm just going to keep heading north. Um, just because I don't want to, I don't want to start fighting at the moment. So there's a, there's some strawberries here, and these strawberries are rotten, and I believe that if you eat them you can get poisoned and become ill, I think. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. So um, if, you, if you find things like that, just don't pick them up. It'll always tell you if it's rotten or not. Right, so above me there is a cave. Right there. Um, I don't want to go near that because I think if you go close to a cave, there's going to be a lot more like monsters and stuff around there. So we're going to avoid that and go this way. Right, so we're at the crash site. Or the crater. So there's probably some stuff in here. Got a steel chain, which I'm presuming can be used for a weapon, but I don't want to use that. 
um, a chunk of steel. So I'm presuming this is just a plane crash of some kind, maybe. There's just chunks of steels and chunk. Of, there's just a uh, steel lying everywhere, so it doesn't look like it's too interesting. Um, hopefully over here is a village or a town. I keep saying village, but it's more of a town. Yep, here we go. So these green things here that you just saw pop up, they are houses. Um, you can find some stuff in them, but most of them seem to be closed off or locked. So you just have to smash windows. Okay, there's a lot of zombies around me now. Um, probably from the probably from the uh, crash site right so that is a gas station they've probably got some good stuff in there which we'll probably go to there's an electronic store there might have some weapons parking lot there's going to be zombies in there obviously and the park yes I get it there's zombies around right so I don't want to go in this house I want to go this way as you can see, the zombies are following me. The zombies are indicated by a green Z on the map. Um, and they're a pain in the arse. Now this is a bad idea, I think. Because they're going to just come straight in here now. But if I press X and get the viewing thing up, I can see if there's anything around here. There's pretzels for food. Bar of chocolate. Plastic bottle of water. And nothing else. So I'm going to have to somehow get out of here. I'm really hoping there's a back door. No, there's not a back door. Okay, the zombie just somehow died in there. <laughs> Did I kill it? Oh god, I hit the zombie and it died once. I hit it once and it died. Oh, there's more zombies. Um, okay, this isn't going too well. <laughs> I'm going to die already. Oh my god, there's tons of them. Help me, rabbit. Okay, so now you can see there's a bit more of the uh, thing open. There's a mill surplus, which has probably got some weapons in, actually. Wow. Right, let's see if there's anything in here. Kevlar vest. There's, okay, there is some good stuff, but I really don't have time to pick all this up. It's a utility vest, so I can carry more. Kevlar vest, um, guns and ammo, it's a book. Mm. There's no weapons in there, there is a backpack, but I'm not going to have to get it because these are about to break the door down, as you can see. Smash and run. Go, go, go. <laughs> Just run. <laughs> okay. I've got no chance of running away, I don't think. Because my strength man didn't gun down. So I'm just going to go down with a fight. Oh my god, there's tons of them. <laughs> Game over, space well. Now over here is a start of like a village or a city. Um, these are where I seem to go straight away, but I always seem to die. So, <laughs> but I'm still gonna go there because it looks like it's a gun shop. Yep, that's a gun shop. We got a park, a subway station, a gas station, house, house, uh, liquor store, radio tower, um, hardware store, clothing store. We need to go to the clothing store definitely because you can get more clothes and. Um, if you get more clothes with a lot more pockets and stuff you can carry more things and I'll go into that in a second so that's the world map alright so this is the clothing store Ooh. okay so there's a lot of dead people here so this is a human called a science ID card which is what I was on about the um you need one of these to get in the science lab I'm not going to take it and uh, I'm not going to take any of that and I'll leave that other dead body over there because I want to go in here first. So is it locked? Nope. Close the door. Okay, so all these are like the shelves and the, the uh, hangers and racks and everything. The ones with the blue 
squares on are the ones that I've got stuff on. So if we take a look around, we've got a leather jacket, a t shirt, hoodie, tank top, dress shirt, sweatshirt, and polo shirt, dress shoes, boots, flip flops, um, jeans, skirt, backpack. We'll need that and another backpack. So we're going to go straight down there and take the backpacks. There's also something down here. What is that? Jean jacket. Okay, so we're just gonna uh, take a backpack. Um, now I'm gonna have to drop a rock to pick up the backpack, but I can hold Shift and press W to wear an item, and then press F to wear the backpack. And now, as you can see here, it says 84 now instead of four. So um, I'm wearing it, so we can carry more things, and then I can get my rock back. There we go. Okay, so that's that. Right, so um, how about we go to the hardware store, see if there's anything in there. This is the hardware store. And we can close the door again and then take another look around. Paper wrapper with a chocolate bar, wrench, wood saw, screwdriver. Um, crowbar will take the crowbar, but not anything else. Flashlight, string, super glue, crowbar, screwdriver, rope. screwdriver, crowbar, exacto knife. Mm. I think I'll take the ooh, a sledgehammer. I don't know, I think I'm going to take the crowbar for now. So go down here, examine, crowbar, take. And then um, we want to wield the crowbar, so that's G. And now we're wielding a crowbar. I'm just, I'm not very good at the gun store thing because uh, I can't. When I go in there, I can find guns, but I can't find um. Oh, that that D is a deer, so I don't think we've got to worry about that. But when I go in there, I can never find ammo. I can only find guns, and I, I just can't find ammo. Okay, this door's locked to this house. Um, so what we're gonna do is go to this window and smash it. And then we can go in. So we've got a steak, knife, plastic bottle, ammonia, um, a rag, cooking on the budget, it's a book, um, a card box of frozen dinner, a rag, pot, <laughs> you see here pot, <laughs> flip flops, um, magazine, raincoat. But we don't need it because it's only cloudy at the moment. Cigarettes and heels. Um, that's a bed. Playboy. <laughs> Playboy magazine. Cigarettes. Reading glasses. Cigarettes. And this is a Time magazine. And into this, which is the gun store. Right. So I have no idea how you do the ammo for this and. Some of the things don't make sense to me, so we'll just see what happens. Right here we've got a zero zero shot there and other items. I don't know. I'm just gonna grab a gun. I'm a um I'm gonna grab the B thing, whatever that is. Oh wait, right, I can use that and then I can get these. I'll get these. Ah, there we go. It turns up green when you can use them. So I'm going to go C and E. Take them with me. Okay, so I need to drop an item now. And I want to drop the Winchester. So, J. Don't want you. There's a zombie northeast. Let's go and find him because I want to shoot him. Okay, so is it F? Yes, here we go. So, I can shoot the zombie. Um, you can aim wherever you want. So I'm aiming at the zombie. Um, I don't know if that's going to kill him. We'll see. You barely miss. What? Let's move closer. Oh, so that's gone red, so maybe that's a bullet that he can pick up. I don't know. Let's fire again. You hit the zombie for 19 damage. And it dies, okay. 
And no, it looks like you can't pick up. That's probably just blood behind it. Okay, so I've got really bad aim. So if we go to the library, we might be able to find. Might be able to find a book. Um, on weapons. Probably doubtful, but you know, we might. But we're just gonna go down and see if we can get to these evac shelters without dying. Which we think we're gonna die because look at oh my god. Right, so. Alright, I'm just going to have to keep popping shots at them. There we go, killed one. Headshot. 82 damage for a headshot. Oh, I've gone the wrong way. Oh well. I can just keep uh, firing at them. Eventually I'll do a bit of damage. They do kind of catch up with you as well. Which is weird. Did two damage to him. See they're catching up with me a little bit. Die! <laughs> there we go. Um keep going, keep going. Oh, there's nothing near me at the moment. Okay, I'm thirsty as well, so um we need to consume Plastic bottle of water. Oh, there we go. We're not thirsty anymore, and we're hungry already. So consume um, H, and we're still hungry. Oh, it's an empty. Oh no. And we're still hungry, but there's more zombies around. And it's the thunderstorm, so we're gonna start getting cold now. As you can see, thunderstorm. Um, because we're only wearing, we're only wearing a ripped t-shirt, sneakers and jeans, and a backpack. So I don't, I don't know how that affects you, but you know. There's another item here, bandages. And that's how to make clothes. Oh, oh no, there's zombies in. Oh no, I'm king. The zombies have managed to find me. Um, let's see if I can get out. Come on. Alright. Close the door and run. See, they've just broke that uh, door down. You hear a distant rumble of thunder. This is probably the worst idea to go back up to the village. Got a bear trap there, um, a shotgun trap there, and a buried bear trap there. So maybe that means there's someone around here. I don't know, but I'm hungry again. Jeez, this dude eats a lot. Um, now, in, I haven't really shown this game off, game off that well, but because um, I'm still kind of getting used to it. There is quite a lot of things you can do in this, like... You can uh, make traps. You can board yourself in houses and stuff. Um, there's, in, there's you can get like infected. Um, there's also pets that you can have. Um, I know you can have dogs. Oh, I need to reload. Uh, let's go with that one. Yeah, you can also have um, dogs, which is pretty cool. Okay, I've just killed all them zombies. Reload again. I actually haven't got that far yet because I normally just run around and get killed. Um, but I know you can, you can do that. So I'm going to take the science card. There we go. And start running towards. Let's see if I can run towards a science lab. Whoa! Oh, there's a skeleton. Okay, there's a bunch of skeletons around here. I mean, minor pain and I'm hungry. Do I have any food? Mm, no. Right, so I'm going to have to... Okay, these skeletons are pretty fast. If 
่อยอะคลิกรุนเอานะเนนเนนเนนเนอ๋อ game over โอเค so you can't shoot skeletons with gun <laughs> damn so about 16 kills and it's just 16 zombies so there you go that's a uh, that's cataclysm the rogue like it is pretty good when you get into it um, I didn't really do anything that then because I was getting excited that I had a gun because that was actually the first time I managed to get a gun and figure out how the uh, ammo and stuff works but there is so much more in this game. You can, as I said, you can get like dogs. You can get um, you can get followers, and you can help other um, other NPCs. Like if you find one, like normally the one at the evac evac shelter's got like some like go and find someone or go and find me something. Um, so yeah, you can do all that. You can get a. Uh, I think there's like diseases and infections and stuff that you can get. Um, so it's pretty cool. Um, I'll leave the link for the download for it in the description if you want to go and check it out. Um, if you want to see any more videos on this, let me know and I'll do more. Um, I won't do it straight away because I want to do some on Dwarf Fortress and the other roguelikes that I've got. Um, now if you haven't already, um, episode 231, I think, of Simple New Adventures, or My Adventures in Minecraft, or whatever you want to call it, um, is up. Uh, so I'll leave a link in the description. So I'll leave the link in the description for that. Um, I keep getting a lot of messages saying that my videos aren't going into people's sub box like things on their homepage. Um, uh, that's not me. I'm not doing anything. It's just uh, YouTube's dodgy, and I don't know what they're doing, but it's just messed up. The only advice I can give is if you go onto the YouTube homepage on the lot like, where all the videos pop up on your thing, um, at the top it says like view and um it shows you what you, you what you can uh you know see on your home page um it, it's defaulted to highlights when you click down the drop down menu it's defaulted on highlights if you put on everything it will show everything that every user uploads that you subscribe to so um hopefully that'll fix it but you do have to do that every time you go onto youtube i think um i don't know they're just I wish I went back to the old way because that worked perfectly fine. But whatever. So yeah, um, I'll leave the link for episode 231 in the description. But thanks for watching and I shall see you next time. Goodbye.